Welcome back to the channel you guys. I'm Chris Jones and uh, just hanging out inside before I actually go out to the um, uh, workshop, fish cave as it were. So we're about to uh, sit down for dinner tonight. We made meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Yeah, nice simple food. But um, no, nah, this video is going to kind of be the start of essentially a little mini series um about basic uh soft plastic lure making back to basics and where we're just gonna take just a few things each video and uh, <laughs> hello landon <laughs> we're gonna take just a few things each video lay them out and then show you a couple different options that that you can do with very little amount of um stuff so uh, you know, the, the basic premise is to show you, hey, you can do so many different cool colors and so many different looks with just that one bottle of watermelon, with just that three little uh, cups of flake. You know, you don't need a ton of stuff to really kind of cut your teeth and, and get your chops, so to speak, in soft plastic lure making or probably any other type of lure making, whether you paint crankbaits you can probably get away with just a few stencils and a few colors of paint and you know that's that that's all that's really all you need to create beautiful things so um with that said we're gonna eat dinner here real quick and then uh, i've already kind of got some things set up out there and we're gonna go out there and um i hope you guys will enjoy the video and find it uh overall useful okay welcome back we kind of got some sunlight coming in here so uh uh, the lighting may look a little different as the video progresses, but this right here is a very similar setup to basically what I started with. Um, so I started with a jerk bait mold. So um, you've seen this one a lot lately. I, uh, whenever I did the color shift jerk baits, it was this mold right here. Now the mold I originally bought was from Delmart. Um, this is just a little bit easier, actually a way easier mold to shoot, uh, this angling AI mold. Um, and then this is one of the earliest molds that I ever had. This is the Bass Tackle 709 crawl. And, uh, it actually moved over. I think this one's now at Bob's Tackle Shack. And you can see my company, Land is the Limit. I have the L-I-T-L initials in it. He, uh, he hooked me up with those. So, um, yeah, BTS molds. Um, this is originally Bass Tackle, but now over at BTS, um, yeah, great guy, um, great molds. Uh, several Bass Tackle molds, um, older Bass Tackle molds are now um, over at BTS. Then of course, this is uh, the Angling AI uh, five inch jerk bait. Um, so I started with a jerk bait, this exact crawl, uh, and then I got, um, and then I got a finesse worm. Um, now this isn't the finesse worm mold that I started with. Um, that's the new fat, fat worm from uh, angling ai it's it's basically a fat finesse worm but uh it's sort of the same idea and then i started with basically these colors um this is just regular watermelon regular black and then lure works used to make a really great june bug um, now i use their black grape i don't like the new june bug as much they had to discontinue the original one now those are some of the first three colors that I ever bought. I bought some green flakes, some black flakes, some red flakes, some blue flake, um, and probably a couple of other things. But you know, this is what a lot of a lot of people's first couple orders are going to look like. Um, you know, so aside from the injector and the plastisol and things like that, that you're also going to have to invest initially in. This is kind of what it'll look like after a couple of uh, diff different orders and investments. You know, you're going to get a few molds, a few more colors, and this may not look like much, but man, you can do a lot with it. And we're just going to show you just a little snippet of that. Um, you know, a lot of the, none of these colors you're going to see today are new, uh, maybe not even new to this channel, um, but it'll kind of give you a, a snapshot of really how far a little goes. You can use what is essentially a very, very small um, collection of supplies here 
and man you can do some cool stuff especially once you get that dual injector um, so we have just some cups laid out um, we're gonna cycle through them I actually need to get more of these I only have four of those can you believe that I should have like 14 but anyway we're gonna we're gonna kind of play around with these colors and, and just kind of stretch their legs a little bit and see what we can get and just like any evening of bait making over here we try to enjoy ourselves America's oldest brewery Pottsville Pennsylvania 1829 and even though it says that on the bottle I have that memorized that's how uh, much of a beer geek I am all right so we're gonna start with the basics and I mean the basics a worm and some watermelon colorant so <clears throat> We have some worm plastic here, fresh out of the microwave. All right, and there's many different looks you can get with your colorant, obviously. Um, for example, we're just gonna use a little bit at first. And you can get kind of a watermelon pepper uh, color with this by just adding some black flake. And this is about as basic as it gets yeah, that watermelon color is real chunky. It's it's almost like a paste. I'm not sure if they mixed it up right or what, but it is super thick. I need to, um, a little hack actually. If your colorant is too thick and not runny enough, you can actually add worm oil to it and uh, lighten it up a bit. So anyway, I'm gonna stir this in um, until it's ready um, because well, there again, you can see the color is kind of chunky. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of, we're going to make some basic stuff, but then I'm going to, we're going to go back to the same cup and then we're going to add some more watermelon to it. So, you know, there, there's kind of color profiles to each color, um, you know, really light, really dark, lots of shades in the middle. Um, speaking of color profiles, there is a YouTube channel uh, run by a friend of mine named Ken Mitchell. It's Ken Co Fishing, K-E-N-C-O. Um, he does a lot of videos showing the color profile of different colorants where he'll measure out a very small amount, a medium amount, and then a large amount of colorant to kind of just show you the versatility of each color. Um, and that's sort of kind of what we're doing here with this watermelon. Okay, so there it is right there. <clears throat> we uh, threw it through the, uh, gas, uh, the gas chamber, through the vacuum chamber real quick just to uh, get that air out. That I guess that pigment had a bunch of air in it. Um, you know, because the plastic wasn't bubbly and sometimes that's what happens. Now we're just going to add a little bit of medium black flake. And that was some of the very first type of glitter that I bought. Um, and this is just a very, very simple color. This is, this is basically watermelon seed is what this is. A very light watermelon seed. And that's it. That's kind of step number one that's 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 a color you might honestly begin with uh some of your very first time bait making so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot a couple of these worms real fast and then what we're gonna do is the leftover plastic we're gonna turn into watermelon red which really only requires one to two more steps all right Hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough. May have to grab a different mold because that's a pretty big worm. But anyway, that's just a simple watermelon seed, and uh, you can kind of build off that. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, check that out. And it almost gives it a chartreuse pepper look, right? And that's just a very, very light shade of watermelon. Um, the actual colorant itself looks nothing like that. But if you use just a little bit, I mean, look at how vibrant of a worm that is. It's simplistically brilliant. Um, it's, it's so basic, it's so easy, um, but absolutely just an awesome bass worm color. I mean, that is, you know, I mean, take it, now granted that's watermelon pigment, but if that were green, green pumpkin pigment that's the most popular bass fishing color of all time straight green pumpkin but just with the watermelon i just man I, i've had a lot more fun um playing with the watermelon you know green pumpkin i usually just make green pumpkin with it um so yeah anyway 
so many things you can do with just that first bottle of colorant and that's just number one right there okay so there's our leftover uh, watermelon seed <clears throat> and to change this to a watermelon red that that i like um, i'm gonna actually want to add a little bit more pigment to it so you can see that that's a lot more runny now i added some worm oil to it <laughs> so that should um that should stir in quite a bit quite a bit easier i don't know why i didn't do that before yeah, so you can see that's already getting darker, okay? And we already have our black flake in there. So, really the only thing I need to do, let me see if I can get the lighting a little different. Just always get a lot of shadows in my shop. I need someone that actually knows how to do lighting to come in here and help me out. So, obviously red is one of the first colors that you're gonna get with glitter. And normally I would use the small size red but you're not always gonna have every color you want and every size you want when you start. So you can just literally just start with the basics there. So this is your simple watermelon red flake. All right, let's take a look at our watermelon red. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Simple as that, you guys. You can see it's a little bit darker shade of watermelon, which I like for my watermelon red. You could do it with the lighter color, but just just look at the difference there. You know, that's that's the same colorant, you know, just used slightly differently. So, you know, the, the point of that demonstration is just kind of to show you, look, you can get a lot of different looks from, from the same sauce. And you can let your imagination go and, you know, it, you don't have to buy two different colors to get two different colors essentially oh yeah look at that gin clear goodness mm -mm -mm. all right so next we're gonna go with good old-fashioned black 103 now same as before we're not gonna add much if uh if you've watched my channel before you've seen me do charcoal a lot you know what we're just gonna stop there at three so, black is maybe the most versatile color in bait making. There's so much I can do with this. Um, and I'm just going to kind of show you a little smoke crawl color. So, years ago, I had a customer ask me to make him some basically see through smoke charcoal crawdads. <laughs> and the idea was that it kind of looked like a molten crawl. Um, so obviously, you know, this is nothing super advanced here. This is just charcoal, but again, there's a lot of things that you can do with black and we're going to kind of show you a little bit of the color profile of it. Um, and just kind of the, the, uh, what's the right word? The, not diversity, but the, you know what? I can't think of the word. Versatility, that's the word. Okay, and just real quick, I actually went ahead and grabbed another uh, craw, craw, crawdad mold there, 709. So real quick, and uh, you know, charcoal, this is a great base color to build off of. Now, just using it by itself, this is pretty much the only time I would ever use it is, is to do a molten craw by itself. Now, charcoal black, you know, you can add a little bit of powders, a little bit of highlight to that, and some flake, and you can do a lot. You can do a lot with just charcoal black. But, you know, just keeping it basic, um, you can use it just by itself. And then here in a minute, we're gonna alter this the same way that we did with the watermelon color and show you a different color that you can get with just black. Okay, there they are. Let's take a look. Pretty cool. Smoke, molten crawls. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same base plastic and then we're going to create black with blue flake. I call it blueberry, but most people know it as black with blue flake. And uh, again, so much you can do with black. And this is one of the best, most simple, basic um, colors that you can do. All right, so now we're going to thicken it up with some more black. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna take our blue flake again. 
that's usually one of the ones that you grab kind of when you're getting started. We're going to load it up with some blue flake here. All right. And one thing I like to do is I like to add this size, the medium size blue flake, and then some little blue flake just to have some kind of two texture, two, two different flake textures in it. But this right here, um, you'll find this everywhere in, in the bait world, hanging on shelves. You know, this is, this is, the, uh, this is the easy way to do it, or, or the simple way to do it necessarily. Just straight black with blue flake. Okay. Now we're going to uh, run some more crawls with it. There we go. Black with blue flake. Beautiful, beautiful. One of the greatest bass fishing catch bass catching colors ever, especially here in Florida. It's got to be black and blue. There it is. That's as simple black and blue as it gets. It's one of the most effective colors ever. Put that on the back of a black and blue jig or whatever you want to do with it. Um, flip it. There it is. Yep. Haven't made some of these basic colors in a while. And boy, it's really nice to see an old friend. Okay, so black grape. We're just going to add a little bit of it. Start with a little. That's kind of the theme tonight. Yeah. So, some of the first worms ever made in soft plastic lure making were straight purple worms. So this is what this is what my dad grew up throwing was a purple culprit. That's what he called it, a purple culprit. It's just the little just the original 7-inch culprit worm in straight black grape known as a purple worm. So we're actually going to add a smidge more, but this is still very, very, very see-through. Okay, here we go. Purple worms. Let's do it. We're back on that fat finesse worm mold over here. Okay. I believe it's called the Fat Mag on Josh's website. Look at that, you guys. Straight black grape purple worms. Isn't that just beautiful? It's so simple. And so is the next color. But yeah, there it is. One of the most fish catching worms of all time. All right, so you might be wondering, Chris, why in the world are you showing us June bug again? Well, I think when we come to the end of the video, you'll kind of understand sort of what, what the concept and idea to this video was. Obviously, a lot of these colors are repetitive um, because, they're, because they're basic. You've seen these everywhere. Um, that's not really the point of this video is to show you a bunch of new stuff. It's, it's to kind of show you what you can do with, with very, very, very little. Um, so, you know, we're only using the molds and colors and flakes that I laid out earlier and we're still going to do some laminates. Um, but, you know, the, the point is just to show you how far this stuff can really go. All right, and real quick, we're going to do some June bug jerk baits. Not necessarily my first go-to jerk bait color, but there's a lot of companies out there that have sold a lot of June bug jerk baits. And it actually really does look nice. And I've caught a lot of fish on June bug jerk. But, you know, if, if you think about it, I'm a June bug frog guy. You know, how many frogs out there look like that in the wild? None. So, it's really all about confidence. You know, all these colors, you know, I, I often hear the phrase uh, that your baits look like they're made to catch fishermen, not fish. And usually when somebody says that, they mean it sort of in a demeaning way, um, which I've always kind of found to be very, very, very stupid. Of course you want your baits to catch the fishermen. And you might be thinking, well, of course, because you want to sell your baits. No, 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 no. If I'm an angler, if I don't love what I'm throwing, if it hasn't caught me first, I'm not going to have as much confidence in it. Do I want to throw a bait that looks pretty, that I'm just wowed by? 
Of course. I'm not gonna I'm I'm gonna choose the one that I like to look at over the one that I don't like to look at. Because I'm gonna have more confidence in it. And there we go, y'all. Some June bug jerk baits. Let's get them out. Look at that. One of the prettiest all around colors for just a solid color. There it is. Straight black grape. Don't need to do anything else. And uh, that is currently my favorite June bug colorant is Uruworks black grape. Okay, so you can see we have two cups of plastic there. Now we're going to take all of the same stuff, well, a little bit of the same stuff, and we're going to create a laminate. So we had a purple and a green. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add our black flake on this side. Okay. We're going to add our watermelon to the other side. Okay. And we're going to create sort of a kind of an Okeechobee crawl looking color just from just from what we have here tonight. Okay. So obviously let me get my other knife here one of these days i'll upgrade to like actual stirring rods or something you know baby steps you guys so anyway that's going to be our two color bases so again this is a watermelon seed but i did it i did it thicker on purpose because it's going to be a laminate and uh and, and the thicker you have your two sides the more contrast there is but you can go too thick and then you don't see the blend in the uh, extremities as well. So, you know, it, it's kind of a happy medium that you have to hit. That may be a little too thick, but I'm not sure. I think it might work. So there's what that's going to be. Then on this side, on the purple side, we're actually going to add some blue flake. So our blue flake from earlier. Okay. Just a touch more. Purple and blue actually goes together really well. Okay, here we go. We're going to see what we can get. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. So we're going to do, we're going to hit, or try and hit all three molds here. So we're going to start with the jerk bait and uh, get the uh, purple side on top. All right. Next is the worm. It's a completely round worm. So it doesn't really matter which side is which color. Same, same with the crawl over here. That's my original punch bug. It's a symmetrical bait, so you don't really have to worry about the orientation of it. All right, don't want the video to, to uh, be without a drum roll. It's in my last video, somebody told me to do a triple stroke roll. Um, so whoever that was, this is for you. So let's see if I can do it. Three strokes per hand. One, two, three, one, two, three. One. About as fast as I can get them not warmed up. All right, let's look at these laminate worms. Okay. Let's get them out here. Yeah, nice. Come on, focus for me. Yeah, there we go. How about that? Where this will really look good is in the um, actual uh, claws on the crawfish where it thins out you'll really kind of see much more of a blend but that's a really really good good uh, natural natural laminate worm color right there yeah look how good the jerk baits came out really kind of where you can see the blending in the tail that's where laminates really shine is when the two colors blend in the thinner portions of the bait so yep really 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 good color yep check out just the the blending in the claws oh come on focus for me yep well there we go so if we look at that that looks like you know a lot of different stuff but really it's not you know this was base was once the same cup of plastic. This was the same cup of plastic. This was the same cup of plastic. 
you know so it's these are these laminates are the same colors as some of these other ones essentially so um you know there again some of the colors here are repetitive but the concept is just to show you you know wow look at the possibilities you can get with in with very little materials and that's just what i chose to do with watermelon that that that's only two things right and then here it is again over here the black grape it's used here here i mean uh excuse me here here and here you know the the black of course so that's literally just two options per color essentially plus some laminates using colors you know that we had set out earlier and look at this beautiful palette of colors today i set out to kind of do a color match of a uh, peacock bass and that's kind of what i came up with right there and uh, i have to tell you guys this might be my favorite pour ever um not necessarily because i think that i'm going to catch a lot of fish on a peacock bass but of just i i got the color match really good if i do say so myself so that is what i was going for let me uh well heck there we go yeah super duper duper proud of myself for that one <laughs> gotta gotta pat myself on the back there this one uh actually came out every bit like i wanted it to all right guys well uh, i'm not even in frame i'll have to scoot down uh well i hope you enjoyed the video it's getting a little late so i'm gonna head to bed but uh i hope everybody's being safe out there um and if you're new to plastics um and you're watching my channel thanks so much for tuning in uh, your support means everything to me i don't have a channel without eyeballs to watch so uh thank you guys for tuning in and uh let me know in the comments below if you think these types of videos are are helpful resourceful substantive um if and if you want to see more of this kind of video um where we're just really trying to to show how much you can do with sort of you know a, a, a basic bait setup in your shop so with that said that's all folks